Hi folks, welcome! This is the new video about the series. Here in Italy we are having a terrible moment about prices of electricity and gas and warm up and heat up my house is so expensive. I want to build myself with you a, pro a little prototype. It will, it will be a little stove and the characteristics are two. The first one has to be very efficient and cheap to use and the second is, has to be very safe to use as well. So let's move to the shop and start the build but first intro.
after a long walk, finally I'm here in a very post-apocalyptic house, which is the moment we are living right now here in Europe. I already placed a little table to place the stove and test it together. I also built a stainless steel frame to support the glass container. Inside this glass container I will place this, it is exhaust oil. It came directly from a kitchen and I suggest you never throw away this oil into the sink because it's toxic for river and can kill fish as well. So every house should have a good reservoir of this exhaust oil. I can regulate the oil flow using the knob and the right amount I'm not really sure because it's the first time I use this kind of stove with you. So let's try a drop this flow of oil and to turn on and to light up the stove the first time we need to use some paper and a lighter the the method is very simple you turn on the light and you throw it directly into the chimney and once it reaches the bottom where there is already a little bit of oil it starts to burn like a candle and after the all the metal heats up the reaction turns on yeah even if it's very spectacular all these smoke rings can be very dangerous this is a very thick and white smoke you can recognize it and if you see your house the, the smoke like this don't breathe it run away and call the emergency it, and absolutely don't never throw water inside a fire like this to kill it so I think there is a malfunction with this stove and I already know what's the problem I've seen so many stoves like this on YouTube in Asia and in Russia they use this kind of stove to cook and to heat up the house. I thought it will be very easy to make and to use but I think it is very dangerous to keep a stove like this at home. You've seen if you put too much oil that flows into the stove we reach a point that is called the smoke point of the oil which is about which is around 380-400 degrees. It, this is the moment and in this moment if I breathe this white smoke can be very toxic so if I keep a stove like this indoor it can be very dangerous but I think I have the solution to use it properly I need to regulate the oil flow I need to put less oil and see if it really works better here let's turn it on this kind of stove is very interesting because it is an automatic briefing stove it means that more hot air goes out from the chimney the more fresh air gets into these holes around and brings new oxygen to the stove which means it can be like a, a system that can burn very efficiently and can reach very high temperature i don't exclude that i can melt also aluminium with a burner like, like this one so i can see that it's burning better now that i regulate the oil flow but there's still a little problem isn't really efficient i can see that there's a problem and this stove can heat up more and more if i can control another thing I thought maybe a problem could be the, the chimney was too short or maybe too large and it couldn't pull up away all the toxic smoke and this suffocated fire and was so bad. So maybe a, lo a longer tube uh, could, could work, can pull away faster all the smoke and burn better the oil that is on the bottom. So I don't think it really works, but we will try. I also install an oil filter, a smoke filter that is uh, built for this purpose. It can eliminate all the oil residue and also reduce the smoke that goes in our, in our planet. So <laughs> it is also important for me this point. Let's see if it works and if it's possible to use it indoor. I start to learn how to use this stop now. I can regulate the oil flow with the knob. I want to have very slow drops getting inside the stove. I can start the fire with some paper and wait some minutes so that all the metal heats up and start the reaction. I can see that the longer pipe, the exhaust pipe really works. It's sucking away all the excess of smoke and the fire is much more efficient. I can see that the, the metal is getting so hot and we can understand the 
the temperature of the metal just watching the color of the stainless steel stainless steel can vary the color and using these graphics we can see that we are reaching 800 degrees which is very very hot and this can heat up all the room without problems even if it's a small stove consider that this this is just a prototype i'm sure i can heat the whole room in about one hour the system is very simple we have the smoke coming up from the chimney which sucks a lot of air from the base and this fresh air gives more oxygen to the fire but as well cools down the temperature of the oil so it's under control i think that this setup gives the best performance because i can control the fire the smoke and also you can see that it's all red hot and can heat up the room very efficiently but I really think that this is dangerous. Even if we see on YouTube, especially in Asian YouTube and in Russian YouTube, stoves like this that are used daily to cook and to heat up the house, I think is very dangerous. Every little things can go wrong. For example, the, the regulator, the regulator of the oil flow can stop and push more oil. Uh, for example, also the exhaust can be blocked, and so we, the fire doesn't burn any more efficiently. And then all the house will be covered with smoke. Yeah, it's, it's a terrible thing. So this can be very dangerous. I want to share with you in any case the tutorial process of this build because maybe somebody can see if I made some mistakes and can suggest me in the comments below how to, in to improve the project. In any case, I ask you to leave some likes at this video because if I reach 5,000 likes, I will upload another YouTube tutorial about this. This is an air blower and this that is another kind of stove that will work better than this one. So tell me if you appreciate this kind of series of projects and yeah, see you next week in another do-it-yourself tutorial. I'll leave you here my two previous videos. Check them out. Ciao, ciao.